So just when we thought the new iPhones and the Apple Watches were the only releases at this year's September event, German says we have one more surprise that's actually pretty obvious in hindsight, and that's the USB-C version of AirPods, so let's delve into it. So yes, we have news that we're getting AirPods Pro with the USB-C ports at the September event with the 15 series, and this should not be a surprise, guys, because in case you weren't aware, Apple's being forced to do this by the European government. And so with the 15 making the switch, they might as well, of course, complete the transition in one go and give us USB-C on AirPods and also other accessories. And by the way, would like to remind you guys, like this video and subscribe for more content like this. It would be appreciated. But I know what you guys are thinking, why did Apple not just give us USB-C when AirPods Pro 2 originally released last year? Well, of course, that is a big brain strap from Timothy because here's the thing, guys, releasing the same thing but with a new port is going to give Apple another massive spike in sales. In fact, I'm pretty sure there will be AirPods Pro 2 users who chuck their original ones in the bin and then spend another $250 on the USB-C version because USB-C is amazing. Okay, of course, I'm kind of joking. People aren't throwing away their AirPods. At least I'm hoping that's not the case. But anyways, there will still be consumers selling their older AirPods and getting these USB-C ones because there's now a fancy port on the bottom and that's gonna generate Apple tons of cash and Timothy's gonna be swimming in money. Now ideally, I'm hoping Apple does sell the case separately because of course not everyone can sell the old AirPods that are covered in grimy earwax and Apple actually did a very similar thing back in the day when we got second gen AirPods, which was basically AirPods 1S but anyways, one of the bigger changes was the wireless charging case, and you could actually buy that separately. So yes, I'm hoping they do the same thing this time. But honestly, it would not surprise me if Apple just wants to make more cash and just gets you to buy completely new AirPods just to get that one single port. So yes, RIP to existing AirPods Pro 2 users like myself, because we're going to be screwed over by this. The resale value of the OG AirPods Pro Lightning is going to tank immediately after the release of these. CS, that is something I'm not looking forward to. Now to soften the blow, I think a trading program would be nice, but let's be honest guys, Apple's not gonna offer us any credit, instead they'll recycle it, and you get to save the planet, which, you know, is a great thing, but that's about it. Now surprisingly, we've not heard much about the other AirPods getting this change. So is Apple making USB-C a pro feature? Well, I could see that happening, but of course, Apple is not gonna get away with that because as I said, they're being forced to implement this and it applies to all their products so that means the third gen and the absolutely archaic second gen also needs a port. Actually scrap what I just said because I don't think Apple is going to continue selling the second gen that of course they've been selling since the stone ages and so yes just cut the price of the third gen and make those the new base AirPods. In fact I do remember covering reports regarding an AirPods Lite but no way is Apple calling a new product light they're never gonna use that word because they don't want people buying the base models knowing they're getting the cheap base version and so yes instead of complicating the range and offering a separate cheap model just cut the price of the third gen and that would be fine and to be honest airpods 3 are too close in price to the pros so lowering their price would make sense also i do want to mention what's happening with airpods max because it seems like Apple does not care about those anymore since it's missing a ton of features AirPods Pro 2 has, including the shorter Siri phrase, because yes, apparently that needs the H2 inside, even though it's a very basic feature. But anyways, yes, Apple's $550 pair of headphones does not have all the latest specs. And considering there's been little to no news regarding the second gen, I think that's evidence that Apple themselves has neglected this product, just buy AirPods Pro or of course the Sony XM5s or any other flagship pair of headphones on the market, they're a better buy than the Maxes. Anyways, continuing with the obvious vague information Kerman told us, he says there's a third generation AirPods Pro in the works. I know guys, that's crazy. Oh my god, no one would have seen this coming. I mean, Apple making a new version of their AirPods? What? That's insane! Jokes aside, I do get a little tired of Mark giving us very obvious tidbits 
And what's even funnier is that this is literally all he says. It's in the works, and that's that. Nothing regarding any of the new features or changes that would have been more interesting, but no, German just tells us it's in the works. Great leak, Mark. Thank you for that. Actually, I'm being a bit too harsh on my boy German because he does tell us one new feature and that's the fact AirPods are sort of becoming like hearing aids. Now, it makes sense that Apple's turning AirPods into a health product because it's very easy to upsell consumers on new products when it involves their health. I mean, take a look at what Apple does with Apple Watch ads. The basic core message is if you don't buy an Apple Watch, you will die. So buy one right now. And it seems Apple's gonna do the same thing with AirPods. I can already see the ad saying, hey, are you going deaf? Buy some AirPods and you can verify if you actually are going deaf. Yay. So yes, German says this new hearing test feature with AirPods basically plays different tones and sounds and allows AirPods to work out how good your hearing is. And so based on this, you can get professional help if needed. And that's pretty cool actually, because my mom's always going on about how I'm gonna go deaf by wearing AirPods 24 seven. And so if I could prove to her that, hey, you're wrong, I'm not going that deaf, I'm only going slightly deaf, that would be appreciated. Also wanna mention that currently on Samsung devices, there is a personalized profile setting where based on the sounds and frequencies you can hear, the media the headphones produce is then tuned perfectly for your ears. And so I'm very sure Apple is gonna copy this and then give it a fancy name. Obviously we already have personalized spatial audio, so this new feature could be customized audio profile bespoke version pro because Apple likes adding pro to everything. So yes, that sounds about right. Now in the future, German says we can expect AirPods to also double as a thermometer and that makes sense considering the already in your ears. And so they might as well give us some useful data. And so yes, in the future guys, AirPods are gonna be packed to the brim with health sensors so that Apple can monitor every aspect of you 24 seven. That sounds kind of creepy actually, but remember you will die if you don't use the health features on AirPods. Also considering Apple's putting all this effort into hearing test feature, I can see them giving us hearing aid features with AirPods. You can actually already kinda use them for this purpose using the live listen feature. And so I can see Apple further improving this and starting to focus on this aspect because once again, more health features capture more consumers. And by the way, if you're wondering when we could see these new hearing features, I think it should be an update we get to the current AirPods. At least I hope it is. And Apple does not force us to get new AirPods. But yes, I think it's pretty likely AirPods Pro 2 get this. And hopefully the rest of the range, CS Apple don't forget about the Maxes. They should also get some new features. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one.